In the past week, after many have driven home for the weekend, a small group of college students remain. In a small basement set in the very corner of the campus, CCH held the second game night of the semester. With over a hundred different card and board games scattered over the tables, all provided by the same owner, fun was had by all. On Friday, we got the opportunity to sit down with lead pastor Dalen Brandes to talk about the event. Not just because I love games, but uh, it seems to be kind of a little bit of the identity of the Christian Campus House community is uh, games and fun. Dalen is not one to simply call a game enthusiast. He spends some of his free time altering existing games as well as creating some of his own, something he has been doing since he was very young. Being in a big family, oftentimes you pull out a game and it's only good for like three players or four players, yet you have a group of six people. So what do you do? Do you exclude two people or do you change the rules? And so we, we always modified games or changed them to uh, work well for our context. Dalen was born and raised right here in Warrensburg. After graduating high school, while some would move far away for their college experience, Dalen chose to stay close to home, attending Maplewoods Community College for two years. He then transferred to UCM to pursue a career in physical education. I just wanted to impact students' lives or people's lives. Um, and uh, unfortunately, a lot of people have bad experiences in physical education. Some people have great experiences, but some people have bad ones. And I really wanted to share the joy of activity and games um, and that it doesn't have to be viewed as a negative thing, no matter the situation. However, by the time his senior year hit, God confronted him with an ultimatum. All right, you know, college is ending. What are you going to do? Are you going to do your own thing, or are you going to follow me? Choosing to live a life of faith, Dalen was given an odd request. He was to move to Florida. And I'm like, hey, that sounds great. I love, I love tropical weather. I love the beach. I, I have some family in Florida. That sounds great. As simplistic as this was in Dalen's eyes, others found it very hard to understand. I would have people ask me, so what's, what are you doing next? And I would say, I'm, I'm going to go to Florida. And they're like, oh, that's great. But then the next question was, why? And I, my only answer, at least honestly, would be um, because I feel like God's calling me to. I would get some funny faces, you know, from that. In fact, I would join them and be like, yeah, I, it doesn't fully make sense to me either, but this is, this is why. Dalen would spend five months in Florida. In that time, he would begin to understand he was there in order to relay the foundation of what it meant to be a follower, in order to grow stronger spiritually. Yet once this was taught and understood, Dalen was called back to Missouri. Nonchalantly, as he's like, I want you to move to Florida, he's like, I want you to move back to Missouri. So when I came back, um, the one uh, kind of bright spot or uh, positive influencing place was the Christian Campus House. After a two-year internship and three years spent as a youth pastor, Dalen was called to lead at the place he had once attended as a college student. God's plans were not my plans, and I am so thankful that I uh, chose to follow him because it has been, it's been a wild ride, but it's been awesome, most fun, and uh, just what I needed. While others may plan out how their lives will go, perhaps we should take a little advice from Dalen and simply wait for the right calling to reach out, with the help of a couple board games to occupy us in the meantime.